Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to review the case of sebaceous glands on female vulvar lips. We often cover the cases when sebaceous glands bother men, when they hinder and when there is tenderness and traumatization, etc. We successfully remove such sebaceous glands. There is no problem in that. It's done without any pain. We can remove them all in one session. However, if there are many of them, then I usually prescribe a test removal of about 20-30 elements. Then we remove all the other elements. In this case, a woman came to us. She had tenderness in the area of vulvar lips during intimate life. She examined herself and found a dense neoplasm that bothers her. After reading, she first suspected condylomas. In such cases, we have to take analysis for sexually transmitted infections, and we did that, as well as smear test for inflammation. They were both negative. Second thing that has to be excluded is molluscum contagiosum. Only an attentive person who has experience can exclude it. In some cases, we had videos about it. Molluscum contagiosum can be small. It may look like sebaceous glands. In this case, two things help. First one is dermatoscopy observation under dermatoscope. Here you have to be a specialist in this regard. You shouldn't observe your own vulvar lips. Second thing is testing by liquid nitrogen, when an umbilicate impression can manifest well when frozen by liquid nitrogen. So we use this method in the doctor's office as well. The last thing that we can do is to remove the element and to do its histologic study if there are any doubts. The partner of this woman had no malusci. He was also observed and invited to clinic for observation. After negative analysis for sexually transmitted infections, we decided that these are sebaceous glands. We did a radio wave removal of these glands. It is done the same way as for men. It's done with amla cream or with 10% solution of lidocaine. The patient waits until the solution is soaked up. Here on labia majora as well as on labia minora, the skin is quite thin and the radio wave or laser removal is done. These glands were removed only once in one go, and if the removal is sufficient enough, then there is no relapse of these sebaceous glands. The scars usually do not appear, as sebaceous glands are located inside the epidermis. If we don't traumatize derma itself, that is deep tissues, then no scars appear. So after removal, if such glands hinder, then usually after healing, no discomforts appear. If it's necessary to diagnose and treat any rashes in the area of sexual organs, you can consult gynecologists and venerologists of our paid medical center of dermatovenerologic dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such rashes. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram.